So what do you do when those problems arise like kicking and screaming and wanting to run out of their bed, wanting to get back in bed with you? So the first step to having a good night's rest is starting a good bedtime routine. So what is a bedtime routine? Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy getting tips and tools for young children. First, establish a bedtime. A good bedtime for young children can be any time before 8.30. Let me know in the chat below, what is your child's bedtime? Once you've established your child's bedtime, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that your child is eaten one to two hours before they have, before you want them to go to sleep. So after your child has eaten, this would be a good time to do quiet activities, um, things that would don't bring a whole lot of toys out, and then do cleanup time. Now it is time for hygiene. It's time to head to the bathroom, do your toileting, your toothbrush, your bathing, your putting your pajamas on, all those things that um, would tell a child that it's time to get ready for bed. One power tool is sometimes I really like to go ahead and play soft music in the background in their bedroom so they know that bedtime is coming. Now you're ready to go into the bedroom. Now this is a great time to encourage your child to pick a story. I like to keep a basket by my child's bed so there's books there he can choose from. Dim while you're reading but off when it's time to go to sleep because that just increases that natural melatonin that their body is letting them know that it is time to rest. So the last step to an effective bedtime routine is something that my family just absolutely loves to do and it's been super effective. It's ending the night with Bible scripture, I particularly like Proverbs 3.24. And there's a few others like Psalm 4.8 that really address sleep and put your child's name in there. And any scripture really. So you can read from the Bible or biblical based books or another prayer book. So what do you do when those problems arise like kicking and screaming and wanting to run out of their bed, wanting to get back in bed with you? Easy tips that have helped us and our family and has helped me also as an educator is to reassure them that they're safe, reassure them that they're loved. Sometimes they might need a hug. Sometimes um, you might want to read another book to them. Um, sometimes if they're younger, like younger toddlers and infants, you might want to pat them, soothe them, stay in the room with them a little longer. And then sometimes you might have to step away and say, it's time to go to sleep, but mommy or daddy or your teacher so-and-so is right here. Step away may mean you might walk away, go down the hallway or walk around in your classroom and come back to that child in maybe five minutes or even 10 minute intervals. Um, but I'm, if you're like me and you don't like to hear your child screaming and crying, it just breaks your heart. Um, check on them and just reaffir reassure them that everything is okay and that they are safe. And eventually, they will go to sleep. I've seen it with multiple children and I've also seen it with my own. So let me know in the chat below, what has been your biggest challenge with getting your little one to go to sleep?